Hi guys, it's Drifter here. Um, today I'm going to be showing you a video of top ro root apps for Android. So yeah, let's go into the first app. And first off, we've got the Goo Manager. Uh, Goo Manager is an app for people who use custom ROMs. Uh, it's a perfect app for custom ROMs, I think, uh, because it has all the options that you pr pr probably need for a uh, custom ROM. Uh, if you know what a custom ROM is, custom ROM is basically a custom launcher and you can change basically anything you want in your Android. So yeah, uh, we can browse compatible ROM, so you can browse and download stuff. Uh, we can browse the files, we can check for updates for any ROM that you have, which is very very good. And <clears throat> we can download some caps, packages, reward our device, flash ROMs. Uh, settings and we can log in. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna leave it to you guys because I don't really use it and it's simple to use it of course, so check it out. Uh, next off we've got um, uh, Super User. It's not a super user that we pirate thing, but it's a super user SU and this super user is really really good and you can see all the logs, so uh, which app had a root access here and all of the stuff um, <clears throat> and you can also disable the root access if you want to so the app will not have a root access for the thing um, yeah. next off we've got actually out here, it's called Greenify uh, you don't actually do anything with the app, you just download it <clears throat> and what it does, it expands your battery life I tested out a bit because whenever I got my Nexus the battery wasn't, well my battery was draining really really quickly and after installing that app I've noticed that my battery is like whoa, it actually lasts longer so it actually does last longer but I don't know I think it saves up to like 20% of your battery, so you can really have an extended time uh, while doing stuff on your tablet. Uh, <coughs> next off we've got the font installer here. And there are custom and loads of loads of loads of loads of loads of fonts here. Um, yeah, as you can see. We click, we can preview them, we can set them, send them, favorite them, and do all sorts kinds of stuff. So yeah, the green Android jumps over the apple. <laughs> uh, next off we have an awesome, I think it's my, one of my favorite root apps, it's called Xui, Xui I don't know. XUI mode, sorry. <laughs> so I think throughout the video you see my scrolling Wii animation here. Whenever I actually press it so hard you see the green thing. Oh, not Google. Google go away. Um, it's green, we can customize all that. Everything is in that app. So as you can see on my clock here, it actually shows the seconds and it's in bold. So it's all of that because I go on my clock mode. You can enable seconds, bolt clock, um, do all sorts of stuff. And uh, yeah. And you can change the ticker animation. <coughs> uh, I'll go back. Uh, toast animation, so that's the way it pop up here. So you can see. Grows out and grows in. Um, there's loads of loads of options which are pretty nice to so when I represent my home screen as you can see a different animation and if I open up basically settings and I go back there's an animation going on so whenever I close all the apps boom, different animation so I really love this <laughs> we add on it's really really good and in order to get that I'll show you that in the next up not now but later on in the video and after that we've got the simple unrar or unzip one 
uh, Android zip file and monitor. Uh, so basically, all it does is just unzips any RAR files if you have anything. And I'll prefer actually simple on RAR because it's simple, that <laughs> was in the title. So all you simply do is just browse your destination, extract it where you want, and that's basically it. Just press extract and it extracts all your files. Uh, nothing else to say, it's really really good. Uh, next off we have an awesome awesome app called Freedom. If you know what Freedom is, you'll see. No, um, I'm gonna launch a game. It does. Uh, I'm telling you, it doesn't work with every game, so be aware of that. So basically, if I go to, hmm, let's go to Hell Crime Racing here, just for a test. Whenever you run the first time, it can be slow, or it can be slow overall while loading the game. So you can see the amount of money I have. So get my points. You can see it's all costing and all that. I'm gonna press the 50 quid one. It's gonna give me 40, 000, 40 million. As you can see, I'm at 29. So whenever I press that, whenever I press that, sorry, press it. Uh, so yeah, whenever I press it, I can bring it up closer here. So it says free card, try, redeem. So that's not any of my cards, so that's basically a freedom mod, don't worry. Uh, if, if you're if you have any cards connected, if you don't believe in if you don't trust in this app, um, you can make a new Google account and buy it for yourself, but come on, hold by a fifty quid for 50 quid 40 million coins for a game uh, <laughs> so yeah press continue here it's gonna say payment successful and there we are you have rewarded with 40,000 and the advertisement have been disabled so you can see I got 16 <laughs> 69 million here and I can buy myself whatever I want it works with most of the games I think actually uh, so yeah, try it out, it's awesome. <laughs> uh, yeah, so next off we've got the Lucky Patcher. And Lucky Patcher allows you to install um, a modded Google Play Store, uh, which already says what it does, Google modded Play Store, yeah. <laughs> and and it's, that's not the only thing, it allows you to uh, patch the apps, for example, if you have an app and you download it on the internet, which you should not be doing. <laughs> and For example, like Minecraft or anything. Uh, or even if you have like, a, if you download just an app from the Google Play Store and it has ads on it, you can remove them. You can also add license. So if we just click here and go to open mod patches. Uh, we can click remove license verification or remove the ads. And I'm gonna click remove ads, patch to remove ads. Uh, so there's different options if these ones doesn't work. And the reason why it's called Lucky Patcher is because you don't always get the patch. So it will say a percentage of it patch on Lucky or Lucky. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna wait a bit here. It can take a while. Do you know what I'm actually gonna do? It does work. <laughs> Trust me. Did my thing lag? I don't know. There we are. Okay. Maybe I should do it in background. Let's check. Uh, just leave it there. Um, next off, we've got the Root Explorer. And but, uh, most of the people are probably familiar, that's why they probably root their devices. Uh, it basically allows you to see anything in your uh, tablet, iPhone, uh, not iPhones, we're Android tech, come on. Um, Android, <laughs> sorry, any Android devices that are rooted, of course. Um, uh, 
so you can change all the stuff if you want to. You can also extract files from here. So if we hold down, there's loads of options here. We can zip this file, open in the text editor, do all kind of stuff to the to the files. Um, so yeah, the uh, root browser is basically the same thing. I think it's like this. Yeah, it's just the same thing, as you can see. But that one, I think that one's for free. Uh, yeah, it has ads, so it's for free. Titanium <laughs> um, Backup, I bet you... I'm not going to even review this app, I'm just going to talk quickly for it. It basically just allows you to back up any of your apps. For example, as you can see, my hill climb bracing has 16 million, and I don't want to lose it. Uh, Titanium Backups allows you to uh, back up every file, even with your data. So yeah, <clears throat> I'm not, uh, I'm not even know gonna open that up because I, I think everyone has this, or everyone reviewed this up, yeah. Uh, so this is our last up, and this is where I get the XUI mod. Uh, this app allows you to install all of the Wii features to your um, uh, tablet. So I keep on saying tablet to your router device. Uh, so, for example, as you can see, I have a Wii launcher over here. Oh shit. Uh, so, if I hold it down here, you can see all kind of like Wii options. They are quite useful whenever you're playing a game or you're in an app and you can't be bothered like pressing your home screen and all that. Or whenever you're playing a game, you have it sideways, you have to swipe it uh, like downwards. So, uh, the keys here pop up uh, so you can just simply hold it down here oh, yeah. hold it down here and it opens your stuff so for example go home, home. Uh, yeah it's a really really good up and in this up you can actually have some gestures here so for example if you could if you swipe it down I don't have any set up now so you know gestures yeah <laughs> uh, uh, also, you can, yeah, so let's go into the app actually. Not Fredo. Jesus. Here we are. Uh, yeah, so when you press download, there's all sorts of stuff that you can modify. For example, one of my favorite ones whenever I tap the taskbar, my thing goes to sleep. And it's actually gonna go to sleep now. Uh, I'm gonna leave you there. I'm gonna post all the links that are necessary for the apps, anything you want to do on your uh, thing. Jesus, this screen so dirty. <laughs> so yeah, uh, thanks guys for watching. Make sure to like the video, share it with your friends, and stay tuned for actually maybe new videos because I might be posting more videos, apps and games on and how to get free stuff maybe too. You never know. <clears throat> um, thank you guys for watching. I'm gonna leave you there. And see you soon. Peace.